So on another side project that I'm working on, I know I have a lot of side projects, so don't judge me. But this one is basically a writing platform that I'm making for my wife. And I want to create a platform to help her write books um, that's a little bit better than Google Docs or anything like that. So over here, we have like a your book section. You can go ahead and create a book. Inside of this, you have the ability to create chapters and you can kind of rearrange them based on ordering. You can add a chapter. But the thing I want to talk about in this video is the rich text editor I have down at the bottom. Notice how if I were to type some stuff in, like today is a beautiful day, I can go ahead and select some text here. I can make it bold. I can make this italicized. And notice that as my cursor changes, it'll automatically set some state in React so I know that, hey, we're currently over a word or a, a segment of text that has bolding. I can go ahead and just undo that. And with italicized, and there's a lot more things you can add in here which are built into this editor. So what editor am I actually using in this? I'm using something called tip tap slash react, which is MIT licensed. If I go over here to the tip tap docs, you can kind of walk through here and understand how to get this set up. They do have a getting started guide and they have a Next.js section. So I kind of followed this. I installed it in my application and I just basically use it right here. So let's go and look at where I have it in the code. I think if I go to editor.tsx, you'll see it pop up here. And let's kind of scroll through here and figure out how this actually works. So starting at the top, these are the main imports. I'm importing TipTap React to get the editor provider in the use current editor. I'm also importing a starter kit and some icon. All right, let's just close the menu bar for right now. But let's show you the, the main chunk of logic we need to get this editor set up, right? So we have this rich text editor, which I believe I'm using on a different page. So right here, I have a rich text editor. I just basically pass it the text content of a chapter and that gets passed in as props and I basically pass that to the editor provider and that initializes the tip tap editor and so the main properties you pass to this is the content again that's just like the text that's in the chapter you have the ability to add in a component above the editor so in our case I'm saying display a menu bar above and then also some extensions I didn't really look into what this extensions is Okay, so that's basically going to render out this little editor section. But in terms of the toolbar at the top, how does that work? Well, we have this slot before we pass in the menu bar. And since this is wrapped in the editor provider, you have access to this use current editor hook that gives you some editor information. And as you're rendering out the menu bar, you can kind of create your own buttons here. So an example, we have a button for the bolding. We have a button for the italicizing. And basically when you click on these buttons, you can use this editor to diff do different things. So in our case, we're seeing editor, chain, focus, toggle, bold, run. But basically just doing this is going to enable the text that you have selected as bolded. And then additionally, if you wanted to change how the button looks when you kind of select some bolded text, you can go over here and you can add a class name to toggle it on. So in our case, I'm saying make the background white if the editor stuff you have selected is bolded. In our case, I could say like red 500 notice that now it's going to change it to red. I'm not sure what happens if you italicize and bold. I guess it doesn't do anything because um, you have different things selected. Yeah, so this is a bolded character and it, it has italics in it. So like if you hover over that, notice that it's both set up as that. So that's pretty cool. You have this ability to basically style these buttons based on the text that you have selected. So let's change this back to BG white. And um, yeah, same thing for the italics, but there's also a bunch of other things that you can do, right? So instead of saying focus toggle italics, let's see if we can add one more button here to add some more functionality, like underline. Let's see if we have the ability to underline something. I'm sure we do. Say toggle, and then I'll say underline. Is that not something? Well, you have all these. You have a strike, order list, mark, list, italics, heading, code, bullet list, bold, block, quote. Now, for some reason, in terms of underlying, you have to like install a separate package. I'm not sure why you got to do this. Let's just try this out again. We're just going to code live here for a second. Go ahead and install that package. And let's see if we get access to using the underlying toggle. Second thing we probably need to do is add the underlying extension. Okay, so let's go to where we define extensions. Go ahead and import underline. If it would show up from that package, I'm not sure why it's not showing up. So let's just go ahead and import it at the top. And now since that extension is set up, let's try this again, toggle underline. There it, there it is, shows up. I'm gonna go ahead and say underline. It'll be underline. And then for this, 
we'll just keep that as is. Let's go over here back to our app. And um, oh, also here to say underline icon. Make sure we add that in. There we go. So what is up? Let's just select that. I'll do command U. Notice that that is automatically set up. I didn't have to add in any type of key commands that allow it to underline and toggle that. That's just built into the editor. So this is pretty nice. So honestly, this is a really, really powerful customizable library. If you ever need any type of like rich text editor, check it out. They have a lot of interesting stuff. The documentation is really good as well. So just wanted to share that with you all in case you are building some type of thing that needs a rich text editor. Check out TipTap. Again, not sponsored, but I think the library is very nice. All right, have a good day and happy coding.